Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best 5G phones. Starting at number 5. OnePlus Nord N200 5G. The OnePlus Nord N200 5G comes from the company's mid-range Nord line of devices. Although OnePlus' first few generations stuck exclusively to the concept of making smartphones that could compete with big-name flagships at mid-range prices, the company's more recent offerings have grown well into the premium smartphone price range. Its latest flagship, the OnePlus 10 Pro, continued this trend by launching at $899. Although the OnePlus 10 Pro's current price puts it out of this list's purview, the N200 5G comes reasonably close to its hardware specs with the same screen size and resolution, albeit at a lower 90Hz refresh rate, a Qualcomm Snapdragon series chipset, and a very similar front-facing camera. Some concessions are, of course, included in the lower resolution main rear shooter and the halved RAM and internal storage specs. However, when considering that you could buy a three of these, with some change left over, for the same price as the OnePlus 10 Pro, those moderate downgrades might start mattering a lot less. Coming at number 4. OnePlus 10 Pro. OnePlus used to be the flagship killer brand but has since evolved into higher-priced flagships directly challenging the likes of Samsung and Apple. Compared to Samsung, OnePlus offers an experience that is free from ads and bloatware while also now providing some interesting features such as reverse wireless charging and adaptive 120Hz displays. The OnePlus 10 Pro is priced in a much more competitive range than last year. At $899, the device is in line with Google's flagship, the Pixel 6 Pro, and undercuts Samsung's S22 Plus and Ultra handsets. Still, OnePlus has managed to cram in specs that go tit-for-tat with the more expensive rivals. We've hit year two of the brand's partnership with Swedish camera maker Hasselblad and the latest update comes in the form of the 50-megapixel ultra-wide lens. With it, you can capture as wide as 150 degrees of imagery, which makes the OnePlus 10 Pro a stellar pick for landscape photography. Additionally, photos and videos look true to life thanks to the natural color tuning by Hasselblad. One area that OnePlus leads the pack in is the charging capability of its phones. Super VOOC 65 support and Warp Charge Wireless 50 support are provided in the OnePlus 10 Pro. This means you can charge up your phone from 1% to 100% in just 29 minutes. The wireless charging even achieves this charging performance in 43 minutes, which is faster than wired charging of most other phones. In countries outside of the US, the OnePlus 10 Pro offers a whooping 80W charging speed. At number 3. Google Pixel 6 Pro. For its sixth Pixel generation, Google looked back to its similarly numbered Nexus 6P for inspiration, bringing back the visor camera bump that runs all the way across the back of the device. Not only does this provide a more stable resting position when the phone is set down, but it provides ample room for the upgraded 50MP main shooter and 48MP telephoto lens. When combined with Google's consistently impressive on-device image processing software, they can provide some of the best results we've seen from any smartphone camera available today. The Pixel 6 line also represents the point when Google joined Apple in basing its flagship smartphone around its own silicon. The Tensor chip provides not only faster processing but the same battery life benefits other companies have already enjoyed when being able to optimize their own chips for their own hardware and software. Number 2 of my list Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 The Galaxy Z Fold 3 is Samsung's latest crack at phone-slash-tablet foldable form factor, and by far its best yet. The device's bleeding-edge internal components live within a case that, perhaps for the first time, seems designed to last for the long haul. Improvements from its predecessor include an outer display that would look at home on any flagship smartphone, a better and more enclosed hinge system, and Samsung's first under-display camera on a foldable. Read our full review, Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. While the hardware on Samsung's foldables continues to improve, its pricing remains quite lofty, albeit down a bit since last year. Within the next few years, phone makers are likely to start targeting the mid-market with flexible display devices. 
But, at least for now, Samsung is firmly aiming its Galaxy Z Fold 3 at the top-end smartphone aficionado that wants the latest internals positioned behind one of the most impressive display combos we've ever seen on a smartphone. And number 1. Apple iPhone 13 Pro Max. From the outside, the iPhone 13 Pro Max looks almost identical to its direct predecessor. However, as is often the case with Apple's flagship, the real improvements all happen behind or, in this case, within the display. The iPhone 13 line Pro is the first to support the company's promotion technology, which not only bumps the maximum refresh rate up to 120Hz, but also supports variable refresh rates as low as 10Hz for static images. The result is a display that just about always looks buttery smooth without becoming a battery hog. The 13 Pro Max is also the best venue for Apple's new cinematic mode, a 1080p, 30 frames per second video capture mode that supports things like rack focus and other cinematographer tricks that would have required an expensive standalone camera just a few years ago. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.